it has always been shocking to me that education has been given such a low priority in many government policies and in international cooperation instruments. The theme of this year's International Day of Education reminds us that to invest in people prioritize education. Investment is critical to achieving Sustainable Development Goal 4. Last year's Transforming Education Summit gathered the world together to reimagine education systems so every learner accesses the knowledge and skills required to succeed. Over 130 countries made commitments to ensure that universal quality education becomes a central pillar of public policies and investments. A call to action on educational investment and the establishment of international financing facility for education created a fresh push on domestic and international financing. And the summit launched a range of global initiatives to mobilize support for education in crisis settings, girls' education, founda foundational learning, transforming teaching, digital tools and green education systems. Now is the time for all countries to translate their summit commitments into concrete actions that create supportive and inclusive learning environments for all students. Now is also the time to end all discriminatory laws and practices that hinder access to education. I call on the de facto authorities in Afghanistan, in particular, to reverse the outrageous and self-defeating ban on access to secondary and higher education for girls. And I also encourage countries to place education at the art of preparations for the SDG Summit in 2023 and the Summit of the Future in 2024. Most of all, I urge civil society and youth to continue calling for more and better investment in quality education.